Welcome to Computer Science Connections, coding a geometric star quilt. This module makes connections between math and computer science. Specifically, it can introduce, reinforce, or extend any student learning related to geometry. If you're teaching about geometric shapes, Native American traditions, or just want to get your students coding, you've come to the right place. In this module, students will use geometry and measurement skills to code a star quilt. The main computer science concepts in this module are loops. One powerful concept coders use often is called a loop because it allows you to execute something over and over again with just a few keystrokes. Whenever there is a chunk of code that is used over and over again, you can take that chunk of code put it in a repeat block and specify how many times you want that code to loop. Loops allow coders to create more efficient code with less room for bugs. There are three lessons in this module. The first lesson is unplugged. Students will learn about Native American star quilts and their significance, make a six pointed star shape on paper and discuss the patterns within the shape. In lesson two, students will use the artist tool to build important coding skills. Students will create a simple star shape by learning how the stamping tool works, how to turn X degrees in an angle, and how to use loops. They will manipulate angle measurements to change the number of points the star has. In lesson three, students build their own star quilt by starting with one point of a star. Then they loop their code to end up with a traditional eight point star quilt. When they finish, they can share their work with others. Students may struggle with turning the artist the correct number of degrees. Remind students that the way the artist faces may impact the number of degrees it will need to turn, or guide students to practice turning as the artist in real life. In every lesson plan, discussion questions are coupled with discussion goals. Check for understanding and promote student reflection by incorporating these discussion questions into your teaching. Highlight the following relationships for students. If the artist turns less degrees, then the artist will create more points in a star. If the artist turns more degrees, then the artist will create fewer points in the star. This module is aligned with Common Core Math and the Computer Science Teachers Association standards in order to align to concepts you already teach. To help you think of ways to integrate, ask yourself, how might this module support the content I am already teaching? And should I use this module to introduce, reinforce, or extend student learning on this topic? Review the vocabulary concepts with your students. Use the provided slideshow to introduce these concepts and teach the vocabulary within the context of the lesson. There are many different colored rhombuses for students to choose from. Encourage creativity and personalization. Adding new comments may be a new concept for students. Explain to students that code comments are a block that does nothing in the code, but its purpose is to communicate information to the user. Don't forget about the hide and show feature for each lesson. It's best practice to only show the lesson students are currently working on. If you do not hide the following lessons, students will be moved to the next lesson automatically. Before teaching the module, complete each coding level on your own. You can write your own code as an example for students. Make sure to review the lesson plans and additional resources. Code.org provides resources like slides, student handouts, and helpful hints to help you and your students get started.